Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is look at how to create a group. When you get onto your Facebook page, you have many options here. You can either hit this carrot up in the right hand corner and there's options to create a page, manage a page, or create a group. You wanna create a group. There's other ways to do it. You can hit your more button. There would also be groups there. You would click that. I'm gonna go for this because to me that makes the most sense in the way that my brain works, okay? Whatever works for you. So let's create our group. Now, once you do that, you need a group name, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I suggest when you start, you're adding your sponsor, and then we'll go from there because they want to help you make sure your page is ready and set to go. I'm going to go ahead and add my alter ego, <laughs> Jamie Pros, okay? And I'm going to keep it a closed group for now, all right? Let's go ahead. Oh, and then, of course, add to your favorites, yes, because you want to be able to find your group. Sometimes it gets really hard to find things. Let's create. Now that's going to generate. You can pick an icon, whatever, if you want to. <laughs> I mean, you could skip it as well. I now have a group, okay? It's the first thing we're doing as we are preparing for our launch. You need a photo. If you do not know how to make a cover photo, that's okay. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can simply Google unique cover photos, unique Facebook covers. Um, or ask your sponsor or anybody on your team and they'll be happy to share. You can copy from another group. We don't care. We're all right with that. So right now I've hit upload a photo because it's in my computer. Now, if you don't know how to get it from your computer, when you go to save one, I'll show you how to do it. Why is this happening? Sorry. So I'm uploading. I have plenty of photos, obviously. I'm just going to double click it and it will upload. If you don't know how to save a photo, I will show you that also just like this. This is how I'll show you, because this will of course generate onto the page that had happened. Okay, so it says Jamie upgraded the group, uh, updated the group photo. If you were to click on this, um, you could actually, so just click on the photo. Any photo, if somebody sent you one, you know, and you're on Facebook and you saw theirs and you liked it, if you click on it, it should open for you. No, yes, okay. Now, here's where you can save. You could either right click it, I like to right click it and save image as so then I can make the name because if I download it then I can't ever find it okay so I just right click it and save image as and then you would have a photo save that you could upload okay so there's that now you need to add a description if you're not quite sure about that yet skip it for the time being okay don't worry about tags yet you can do that later as well okay right now we just want to make we get sure we get you a launched group so now you have a new group the first thing you're gonna be working on is your welcome message. We have that as part of your launch script so you have an idea of what you wanna say. Once you have posted your welcome, even when you have people hosting online parties, have them post their welcome first before they add anybody. So this is my welcome, blah, 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 okay? And post. And that's it, okay? So now we've got our group. Let's now go to our unique page and log in right there. I suggest you always log in with Facebook. It makes it easier and it will generate a photo of you up here. You want that because some people do search out people in their area and they want to see who you are and what you look like, okay? So I log in with Facebook. It logs me in because I happen to be logged into Facebook right now. And I'm going to go up to my office right now because I'm going to look at my parties, okay? We're doing that because it'll bring up my parties and then I can also create my first party link. You're gonna create a party link every 10 days, okay? Because that's how you make your Y cash to always get your makeup free. Schedule a new party. So, we have three options, right? I will host this party, customer or friend, or invite a friend to create. Don't use this middle one. This is silly. Every time we do it, people forget to activate it and then they will lose out on their rewards. Don't use it. You'll always use this one for a hostess, but for now, for you, you will host this party and it says nobody deserves those party rewards like I do, so I will host this party. You'll scroll down and you can click on any kind of theme. Once you've done that, you hit save my party. And now that the party is saved, it has generated a link for you that you can simply right click and copy the link address, okay? And you'll have it. So I'm going to copy it just for the heck of it, even though I'm not going to make this happen. Okay, so now. I'm gonna go back to my group because I'm gonna post that party in here. I'm gonna right click, yes I am, and I'm gonna paste. Now, 
There it is, it just generated. So I can post this and that's awesome. And that would be the party link that people can click on to buy. Do you see this little carrot? If you hit this, you can pin the post. What that means is it's gonna stay up at the top of the page at all times when people log in here. So no matter what we're posting, if they go to the very beginning, this is where it's at, okay? That's how you save your link. Looking at parties, you have a few options. Say you have a party and it did really well, one of your own, you know, because you always have a link under your own name. Every 10 days you can switch it out. That way, anytime your regular customers start ordering or you're running a series in your group, things like that, when people click that, it earns you Ycash all the time, right? But say you're like, man, that party's great. It's earned me a lot of Ycash. I want to close it out now. You can simply go over here, close the party, okay? You can also edit the party and change the name of it if you clicked that little um, pencil. But I'm going to close it because I don't need this party. I have one going and I wouldn't want anybody to use that, okay? So that's how you close a party early. If you wanted to run like just a five-day party, that's fine. And that way you have your credits to, uh, you know, that you can access. Now, before you go inviting your friends, like I said, you want your welcome message, right? But I want you to seek out about 10 really good close friends of yours. You're gonna send them a message, a personal message, and let them know what's happening. Hey, I have just jumped on to this amazing, you know, bandwagon of Unique. It's a beautiful company. It's professional grade makeup, you know. I am very excited, whatever you need to say, and just say, I am not trying to make money off of you. I am trying to have support, and support is the biggest thing I could have. So I'm adding you to the group. All I ask is you like things and ask questions because that will help me get others interested and just kind of promote me a little. And I appreciate you and thank you so much for your time. They will respect you so much and you will have like a support network who will always be in there doing little things like that to help keep people actively paying attention to what you're doing. So say it's your first week and somebody already wants to host a party. Don't freak out. We'll help you through it, okay? You'll simply go up here, schedule a new party, and this time you're gonna choose the invite a friend to create a party. When you do that, you're doing the same process. Pick a picture, and then it just tells you, here's your link at the bottom. What you do is you copy and paste this link um, and then you send it to them and they have to click on the link to get it activated. Once they click it, it's active and ready to go and you'll do the same thing. So it will be up there in your thing, okay? So say we're going back to the parties, just so we can kind of look, I'll look on another one that's already there because I don't want to use that one right now, of course. But say they've already you know, clicked it, so now it's active, and you're like, well, how do I get that link off of there? I don't understand. Well, this is fine. Go ahead and click on the party, because it'll be there for you. And there you have it. You have shop from this party now. It's already good to go. You can literally copy it by right-clicking it and copying right out of your search bar, okay? It's that simple, then you can paste it, and you're ready to go.